right now at five. Find defendant guilty of manslaughter while armed with a firearm. A former police officer convicted of killing a man on the side of the road. It was the truth that sent him to jail. It was the truth that gave us justice for Corey. Tonight, a family looks for closure now that Newman Raja has been found guilty of manslaughter. It was back in 2015 when Corey Jones was killed on the side of a highway. And this case is just one of the few where an officer has been convicted in an on-duty shooting. CBS 4's Ted Scowton is live tonight in West Palm Beach with the verdict and the reaction. Ted. Francis and Elliot, the Jones family tonight is very relieved that that jury came back with guilty verdicts. The jury began deliberations yesterday. They deliberated for a few hours, came back this morning around 8 o'clock or so. By 8.30, they told the judge that they had made a decision. Jesus, thank you, Lord. The family of Corey Jones elated after the ex-cop who killed Jones was found guilty. As to count one, we find a defendant guilty of manslaughter while armed with a firearm. Newman Raja remained expressionless when he heard not one guilty verdict, but two. We found a defendant guilty of attempted first degree murder as charged in the information. Shortly after the verdict, Raja was cuffed and taken into custody. He was walked off, being held with no bond until sentencing. Outside the courtroom, the Jones family and their friends formed a prayer circle. They're grateful for the verdict. We've been waiting for this for a long time, um, three and a half years, and um, we're finally getting justice. We got exactly what we wanted. Roger shot and killed Jones three and a half years ago on a highway exit ramp. Jones' car broke down. Roger approached in the middle of the night in an undercover vehicle in plain clothes. Prosecutors say Jones feared he was about to be robbed, pulled a gun, but then ran, dropping the firearm. During the incident, Roger fired six shots. Three hit Jones. The fatal one was a shot through the heart. Our family is, is happy but sad at the same time because we don't have Corey here with us. Roger claimed he feared for his life after Jones pulled a gun. The jury did not buy that argument. We thank God for the law. We thank God for justice. You know, we have a law here, and nobody is exempt from the law. Roger's family, friends, and supporters had little to say when they left the courthouse. Anyone who'd like to comment? No, step away. About but, the but baby, keep going. And Roger will be back in court on April 26th for sentencing. He faces a minimum of 25 years in prison, up to life. Live in West Palm Beach, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.